Hey everybody, just playing around on 10 meters this morning. It's open. Pretty much everything's open, 11 meter, 10 meter. I haven't tried 12 meter yet, but I just wanted to show on this Lincoln 2 Plus, the DW over here, dual watch. That's basically what it does. And right now there's two repeaters. I think they're both in New York. I could be wrong. 29.620, 29.640. No, I don't have it set up to transmit into them. I'm simply listening to their output frequency and there's been quite a bit of activity on each one so what I did is set it up to dual watch it's just going to keep cycling back and forth until there's activity right there now the problem I think is is because there's propagation on the band there's people that are getting into the repeater from other states and whatnot and they may not know if there's a PL tone that needs to be used to you know transmit modulation through the repeater yeah you could key it without the PL tone but you need that actual tone to transmit your voice through the repeater system or else it's just simply going to transmit carrier so that could be why I'm seeing that quite often right now but there's quite a bit of activity on these repeaters and it could be multiple repeaters too using the same frequencies there's someone right there That was the FCC ID of that repeater. It's required every 10 minutes. But like I say, I, I believe there's probably multiple repeaters that are getting picked up right now on these frequencies. So it's kind of like skip in a sense to where you're hearing everything you can possibly hear from all directions. And repeaters are huge antennas usually top on towers way, way high up in the air. And they don't necessarily have to be running huge amounts of power, but since they're higher up in the air than most um, hobbyists would have, like their home antennas, base antennas, stuff like that, they're going to travel a lot farther than, you know, URI's normal antenna would. You know, these could be a relative 100 some feet up in the air plus. I mean, maybe there are some guys that run home antennas that high, and if they do, that's great. But more times than not, it's mostly your amateur radio repeaters and stuff like that, commercial broadcast towers, things of that nature. There you go. There was an ID. You could look that one up and see exactly where that repeater is located. N2. I didn't catch it. I'd have to watch the video again to, to catch it. But it's 10 o'clock. It's definitely on the East Coast somewhere. Eastern Standard Time. So. So that's it. Um, nice feature. You know. You get one of these Lincoln 2 Pluses. Use it for the amateur capability as well. It works really good on phone and FM. They work really nice. 7-3.